What's up guys and welcome back to another episode. My name is Ben and today we're talking about Pixel Pitch. Most of you have probably heard the term pixel before. In fact, whatever display you're watching this on is just made up of a bunch of tiny pixels. Today, we're gonna to be learning about pixel pitch and why it's so important in virtual production. Pixel pitch by definition is just the distance center to center between two LED pixels in an LED display. Now, before we move any further, I'd like to play a little game. DPI stands for dots per inch. And the average DPI of stuff that you consume on the internet is around 72. The average DPI of printed media is 300. Knowing this, what do you think the average DPI of a billboard is? Go ahead and pause the video and leave your answer down in the comments below. Don't Google it and no cheating. If you guess somewhere between 10 and 30, then you're correct. Go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, and it gets better. Electronic billboards usually have a pixel pitch of around 10 to 20 millimeters, which equates to around a DPI of one to three. Now, does that mean that the resolution of a billboard is a lot lower than the resolution of printed media and stuff that you consume on the internet? And the answer is no, not necessarily. See, the resolution is just simply how many pixels wide by how many pixels tall. The distance between the pixels or the DPI or the pixel pitch does not directly impact the resolution unless we physically constrain the size of our display. So if you have a display that is 3,840 pixels wide by 2,160 pixels tall, you have a 4K resolution display, even if those pixels are three feet apart. Now, the reason a billboard looks nice and sharp and crispy, even though the pixels are so far apart, is because of something that we call relative viewing distance. See, a billboard is a lot farther away from your face than your phone is, but I bet next time you're driving around, actually pull over, don't do this while you're driving, I want you to pull out your phone and I want you to hold it up about arm's length out next to a billboard and see about how big they are comparatively. And I bet you'll find they're pretty close in size. So if you are choosing the correct pixel pitch for an LED display, your pixel pitch will vary based on how far the camera is from your display. So now that you guys understand how relative viewing distance comes into play when dealing with things like resolution, pixel pitch, and DPI, let's figure out how we can calculate the correct pixel pitch for our specific use case. And to help us with that is George Ray, our lead engineer here at VIEW. The starting point that I always work with is figure out what your height is. Is it going to be tall enough for the type of shot you want? So the rule of thumb we use is the, the volume height needs to be roughly three times the height of your subject matter. So if you're shooting a stand-up, then, you know, human roughly five to six feet tall, you want the wall somewhere between 15 and 18 feet tall. The reason you want to figure the height first is if you keep the height to a single 4K frame tall, that makes all of your image processing as far as your Unreal Engine and your compositing and your graphics much simpler. So that's how I work backwards. It's how tall is your total space? What are you trying to do? And then fi figure out the pixel pitch based on the height. Okay, if you guys are feeling lost, just bear with me. Remember how I said the pixel pitch is just the distance center to center between two LEDs in an LED display? Well, that distance is typically measured in millimeters. And since we know the height now that we need our wall to be physically, we can calculate the pixel pitch based on that if we keep our resolution at 4K. So sticking with our stand-up example, we know that our athletes are six feet tall. We know that we need our wall to be three times that height, that's 18 feet. That equates to roughly 5.5 meters. We would then take that number, convert it into millimeters, which is 5,500, and then divide it by 2,160, which is the number of pixels tall in a 4K frame. That gives us a 2.5 millimeter pixel pitch. Pixel pitch alone isn't the only thing that we have to calculate. We also have to calculate something called fill factor. We're not gonna go too deep into fill factor in this particular video, but just so you understand what it is, it's essentially a ratio comparing the amount of pixels versus the amount of space in between the pixels on your total display. The pixel pitch and fill factor of an LED display will impact things like moiré, which we will also cover in a future video. Well guys, that pretty much covers it. Hopefully you learned something. If there's anything that you want more clarity on, let us know down in the comments below. We're checking them. I'm checking them for sure. 
We really hope that you're enjoying this series. And if you are, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends. We're extremely passionate about virtual production and we're stoked to grow this community. Make sure to look both ways before you cross the road. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.